Hello, I am Gosutuna, and welcome to Streamtimer.io. This is a feature-filled timing tool for all your streaming needs. Built upon my previous version in the Streamlabs OBS App Store, this has new features that couldn't be done in that environment, along with all the good stuff to get started quickly. While this video will give you a good rundown of how to get started, trying it out for yourself will give you a better idea of how it works. So the modes we've got in this release, we have the counting up and counting down modes, along with the subathon mode, where you can set the values and listen for events during the stream to affect the timer, a train timer that resets based on follows or subs and keeps a count of how many are in the active train, and finally an actual clock, should you want to show the local time. To get started, log in with your streaming account of choice. More platforms will be added in the future, however for now, we currently support Twitch and Streamlabs. This does mean if you use Streamlabs and stream to YouTube for example, you will still be able to use this tool. Once you've logged in, you'll have access to the options screen. Here you will see the URL you need to add to your streaming software, how to style your timers, and the extra features as part of this tool. As a user of the tool, you will be given a UUID. You can see this as part of your link to the timer. This can be used as part of Quick Timers or as part of the Elgato Stream Deck app. Please keep this secret, and if you think it has been compromised, you can change your UUID using the button here. Once you've added your browser's source to your streaming software, you can control the timer from this page using the button to the top. If you have an Elgato Stream Deck, you can control it with your fingertips. Just download the app from the More Actions section of the Stream Deck app, or if you update it to 5.0, the Stream Deck Store. You will need your UUID, which you can get by clicking here. Should you want to have a fixed timer with your current settings, counting up or down, you can use the Quick Links feature. This URL is another browser source which will also play when activated. So if you want a simple countdown or count up, this is the option for you. Beyond your standard customization, we have a few more advanced options. If you want a message to periodically appear when your timer is active, the pop-up message is just the add what text you want to display and how you want it to display giving your viewers a call to action. If you want to add an audio klaxon at the end of your timer, or if you hit the stop button, you can use the completion sound section. This file will need to be hosted somewhere for the app to find it. A file system link won't work. And that's the timer as it currently stands. The best way to see how it works is to dive in and get playing with the settings. If there's any feedback, bugs or suggestions, let us know over at the Discord, over on Twitter or on my stream. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I'll be looking forward to hearing from you.